the weather's finally starting to break and uh start thinking about some early spring projects i love this time of year um, and actually today i'm gonna frost seed this plot that's behind me it's a little bit early um, than i like to do it but i want to get out here and kind of talk about how i do it and the seed i use all that type of stuff and uh, with regards to the timing you know, get asked a lot about when is the best time to frost seed and it's kind of hard to predict obviously because it is weather driven uh, but kind of a rule of thumb you could go by is an ideal scenario you get that seed in the ground with about four or five frost cycles left um, again hard to predict but if you do a quick google search uh, for the average last frost date in your area there's a lot of different sites you just enter in your zip code uh, that'll give you that average last frost date and then to be safe you can count back about three weeks from there so my average last frost date in this area is about mid-april counting back from there puts me towards the end of march as as a, a good safe window of course you can go earlier than that you can go later that later than that but you just <clears throat> increase the risk of a uh, of failed frost seeding uh, the further away you get away from that window so uh, again i'm on the early side but i wanted to come knock this one out today uh, and I'll talk about the plot in a little bit, um, but frost seeding in general, obviously a very effective way to establish a clover, or clover and chicory plot. I've had tremendous success over the years doing it this way. You know, some people will argue whether it's the, the best method or not, but I think the one thing that can't really be argued is the the cost effectiveness of it and the, the ease of it. Uh, I don't know if there's a, a better way to establish a, a clover and chicory plot. Um, at this cost level and uh, effort level so very easy you're letting mother nature do the work pretty much uh, so can they fail absolutely but if you follow a, a few general guidelines frost seeding is a is an awesome way to either establish a clover chicory plot or fill in the gaps of an existing one with regards to the the seed that i use like i said clover and chicory is primarily what i like to frost seed this time of year and uh, I'll share more about the seed itself and, and how you can get a discount. But backing up just a little bit, I've, I've wanted to get into the food plot side of the industry for a number of years now. Uh, obviously, I love food plotting. I just love the, you know, the small scale farming aspect of it. I love the, the trial and error and experimenting with different things and seeing how deer respond. So I've been doing that for a number of years. I, I, I plant a lot of food plots every year, even though I don't hunt over most of them. Uh, myself either for other people or just I think it's a great way to, to keep deer on and around your property on a year-round basis um, so for a lot of reasons I wanted to get more involved in the food plot business and and bring to the industry a line of seeds that I have found to be you know very very effective um, just kind of all-purpose blends where you know not just something that grows well but something that makes sense uh, from a deer aspect something that makes sense from an all season aspect and nut nutrition aspect so I, i've had these blends kind of dialed for the past couple years but i didn't want to do all the shipping and and distribution from my garage so uh, a, a little over a year ago i started meeting with a number of food plot companies more or less trying to to choose a fulfillment partner. And one of the companies I met with was Elk Mound Seed in Wisconsin, and they're actually celebrating their 150th year in business this year. Uh, so been around a long time, but their food plot division, Monster Buck was a smaller, lesser known brand. Um, and so after meeting with them, the Monster Buck team, I made the decision to come on board with them as part of the company. Um, and they allowed me to bring all the blends that I had been working on to the monster buck name and uh so that's kind of what i've been working on for the past year or so with regards to getting that transition and, and built within the monster buck name and uh one thing i learned you know just going through the process i learned that there's a very wide spectrum in the food plot industry when it comes to seed quality um you know seeds there's, there's technology involved there's newer improved varieties there's a lot of you know university studies behind certain seed species um, all that type of stuff you know stuff that maybe uh, most guys don't realize and we were very adamant from the beginning of doing this uh, we're just going to list out the exact species of seeds that we're using so people if they want to um, you know check the data behind it the research see some of the studies you know exactly what you're putting in the ground there's there's nothing hidden uh, with regards to these blends so um, that was a, a big priority of ours from the very beginning and again these these blends 
all make sense um, just from a, a deer hunting aspect. Uh, they, they're they selected to as far as which species play well together, um, palatability, um, different things like cold tolerance, heat tolerance, drought tolerance, all that type of stuff is, is considered in, in how these blends are made up. And I'll talk about uh, the rest of them at a later date. We have a full lineup, but these two in particular um, are what I'm going to be using today and most of the spring. Starting with this one is branded off season. So off season as the name implies is kind of your soil fixing off season type of clover blend that's made up of three different clovers that are shorter lived and more aggressive growing. Um, the point of these is, yeah, it's gonna provide some food for the deer in the off season. It's gonna help suppress weeds. It's gonna put nitrogen back in the soil. Um, and in today's, you know, market of high input costs with fertilizer and uh, and chemicals this can help save you money in the long run by having something that's going to require less treatment when it comes to planting your fall plots um, you know less fertilizer because you're adding nitrogen back in the ground from the clover um, so this is this is more your quote unquote plow down clover uh, this is where I'm, I'm going to frost seed this in the spots that I plan to put brassica, a, a brassica blend in later this summer. This will kind of be that gap filler from this time of year until about August when I come in and, and put in those fall plots. And secondly, probably my favorite blend that I have in this lineup, it's a, a mix of four different clovers and a chicory. Uh, this one's called multi-year, obviously a, a, a mix of perennial clovers and the chicory. And I say this is my favorite blend because of the success I've seen with it over the past few years. Um, not just in how well it grows, but the fact that it keeps deer on the property all year round. I've, I've seen a huge uptick. A lot of my properties historically have not been great summer properties, the, the properties that I, that I hunt on. But where I've planted this, I've seen a huge uptick in just deer hanging around for the summer. They're con especially those and fawns in the in the spring. They're constantly in the clover chicory. It's highly nutritious, high protein levels, um, and it's it's good almost on a year-round basis. It's as close as you can get to a year-round food source. It's been my favorite mix, and it and it frost seeds really well. I can show you some some photos from across the creek here uh, when I frost seeded last March and how quick that growth was, especially on the chicory. Um, it's pretty impressive. And I've, again, I've, I've just been blown away by the, the deer utilization of it. So in general, um, again, I've, I enjoy food plotting, but I also enjoy helping guys get into food plotting or becoming better food plotters if they're already doing it. Uh, so you know, obviously feel free to reach out anytime if you have questions. I enjoy helping people design plots, all that type of stuff. Um, the seed itself, I'm going to, as soon as I get done with this, I'm going to activate uh, the code uh, new, N-E-W. And uh, if you guys want to get some of the seed to frost seed or um, just any, any of the blends uh, for utilization this spring, yeah, you can use that discount code and, and we'll give you 20% off on monsterbuck.com. So um, again, reach out with questions. I'm going to get to work here. Uh, a couple things. This this plot in general, I'm going to be planting the multi-year because I want this to stay in the clover chicory blend. Um, and then I have another one that I'm going to put the off season that will be a fall plot. Um, but this one that I'm going to start working on, it does have a decent amount of leaf matter. All these cotton woods that are on the west side of the plot, you know, obviously a lot of a lot of leaves rain down in the fall so I've got a, a rake and a leaf blower I'm going to try to get some of that off before I frost seed. With the seeding itself one thing I like to do with these smaller seeds like your clovers and even your brassicas is to make two different passes when I'm broadcasting so and, and sometimes we'll even separate the seed out into into two parts so let's say I'm using five pounds of seed I'll separate two and a half pounds out do that first two and a half pounds making passes going north and south and then uh, add the the other two and a half and i'll i'll run that out going east and west so you, you really grid that plot it helps to eliminate any misses or uh, putting too much seed in one spot uh, so that's what i'll be doing here i'm gonna get to work and uh, like i said reach out if you have any questions on the blends or just food plots in general